Here's the thing, you're pregnant, but like you don't change who you are. I hate women who start to act like really precious. You don't stop being you, you know? You don't stop working or drinking like you. <laughs> so you may have watched this on Netflix. Amy Schumer talks a lot about her pregnancy in her stand-up special called Growing. Some moms may identify with her candor about awkward advice you get and baby showers, all the things that come with having a baby. But her message really resonates with some women for another reason here. The actress and comedian has been open about the health problems she's faced during her pregnancy. Last week, Schumer posted photos, this one right here, and she posted videos on Instagram asking for advice from people who have experience with in vitro fertilization. She says she wants to help others who feel alone in the process. Well, to talk about IVF, Dr. Kaylin Silverberg from the Texas Fertility Center joins us this afternoon. Doctor, thank you for coming in. Oh, pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so we were talking about, um, first, for anybody who doesn't know what IVF is all about. So IVF is a procedure where we can actually stimulate a woman's ovaries to cause her to make a bunch of eggs. We then remove those eggs you know, through a minor surgical procedure. We take those eggs into the laboratory, we fertilize them with her partner's sperm. We grow embryos. We grow those embryos out for about a week. We can actually genetically test those embryos to make sure that they're chromosomally normal. And then we actually transfer an embryo back into a woman's uterus. I feel like we're hearing more and more in the news every week about uh, IVF. You know, how common is this? It's not that common. It's really pretty funny because it's gotten a lot of notoriety, but about mm -hmm. a third of all the patients that we see with infertility actually will proceed to in vitro fertilization. 70% of people who come into our office and get pregnant and leave do so without ever doing IVF. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. So in Amy's posts, um, she just talked a, a lot about the emotional stress uh, the physical stress that she's right. going through with with IVF, why is that? Well, there's a lot of things that are going on. First of all, from an emotional perspective, you're taking women who ever since they were little girls, most of them have wanted to be mothers. And they think, no problem, I'm gonna prevent pregnancy all the way through high school, college, and then I'll you know flip the switch and get pregnant easily when I want to. And they find out that they can't, and that kind of shakes the whole foundation of who a woman is for a lot of women. Um, and then on top of that, they realize they've got to see somebody else. They've got to see a fertility specialist. So we're invited, not willingly, into their you know their relationship, the most intimate relationship they have. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of a necessary evil because they need our assistance to be able to get pregnant. Then they have to take injections that raise their hormone levels really high. And it basically takes away their defense mechanisms. They've got to leave work to drive down Mopac to fight the traffic and come to see us. Um, it's just that there's just every time you turn around, there's something else. There's another obstacle. Well, you just laid it all out right there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have some close friends who have gone through this process, and I know it's very, very draining on them. So as a doctor, and, and as you said, you're kind of in their personal, this intimate relationship they have. What, do you, right. what advice do you give to women who are going through this to cope? Well, we want them to maintain their lives as much as possible. So in the old days, we used to take everything away. No alcohol, no chocolate, no mm -hmm. sex, no exercise. Don't yeah. do anything. Just you know, be a couch potato. And we realize now that those were the wrong messages to send. So we really want patients to do what they normally do. If you work out, work out. You know, it's a great stress release. Sex is fine. You want to drink a, you know, a margarita here, a glass of wine there. It's never been proven to be a problem. We don't want you to drink a lot. But you know, a little here, a little there. Do what you do. Continue to work. Continue to maintain your friendships. Be open. Talk with your friends about this. IVF is so, it's not in the shadows anymore. Mm -hmm. It's really out in the open. And to be able to communicate with your friends and your support group and get that support that you need and turn to us. We have tremendous staff who are really there to help. That's awesome. I, th that's, that's a great point. So often, you know, um, even if you go through IVF or not, if you get pregnant, it, you know, there's always this idea that you kind of have to hunker down right. and you can't do anything. You can't go anywhere. But but telling people to get out there, still live your life normal. You know, exactly right. Relief. Go out to dinner, go to the movies, mm -hmm. do whatever you want to do. Now, with Amy Schumer being so open about her journey right now, uh, why do you think it's important for celebrities to kind of speak up? You know, these people who are kind of on a, a, a pedestal, if, if you will, right. uh, about these sort yeah, of it's things. It's kind of a mixed bag. Yes. So, you know, <laughs> for whatever reason, they have this microphone, they have this pedestal, and when they use it for good, I'm all over it. I think it's really mm -hmm. fantastic. And for her to come out and be forthcoming and to say, hey, you know what? Maybe I'm a celebrity and maybe you think my life is perfect, but I have the same kind of problems that you do. I'm going through the same things that you are. 
and this is how I'm coping, and this is what this is what's involved in the process. And I think that's so helpful. We have so many. We take care of a lot of celebrities, and we will ask them. You know, you've got this great microphone, this great podium. Please come forward and and help convey the messages that need to be conveyed. Women need to start thinking about pregnancy earlier. They need to not ignore it. If they're not ready, if they don't have a partner, they can freeze their eggs. Mm -hmm. And when they are ready, let's get going. Let's let's make things happen. And if it doesn't happen within six months to a year, go see somebody. I love that. Um, it's something else, Amy Schumer, what you were saying, you know, do good with this. She actually gave a phone number out to her followers and said, text me, let me know, tell me your story, let's talk about it. So, very Great. cool. All right, doctor, thank you so much oh, for giving us that Thanks insight. So we appreciate you coming on. All right, we're going to talk with Kristen one more time because it is Friday, friends. We want to know what's up with the weekend when it comes to your weather. We'll see you back here after the break.